Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. We are gonna be starting the deck of panning project pan for 2022. This project was created last year by my friend Emily. You guys know I rave about Emily all the time on my channel. She is one of my absolute favorites. I look forward to her content all of the time as well as all of the new projects that she creates. She is so creative when it comes to project panning creation. She also created the graveyard project pan and I love her. Make sure you go check out her channel as well as her introduction from last year um, and likely her introduction for this year as well. I'm filming this a little bit early. Um, so as of right now, she has not posted her 2022 introduction, but I highly recommend checking out her intro video because she does a phenomenal job at explaining what this project is all about. It sounds a little bit confusing if you like, if it's your first time catching the video just because it is a game style project and there's a few moving parts to it. That is why I recommend checking out Emily's video. I'm terrible at explaining things. Um, but I'm so excited to be starting this project again. This is one of my absolute favorite product products, projects to do. And I'm just super excited to be starting this one again. So if you guys are interested in seeing my introduction as well as the products that we are going to start the year off with, stay tuned. First, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content, or you just like to chit chat about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. Okay, I'm hoping I'm like up to date in the changes made to this project. There are a few tweaks that I think were made for this year, um, but the basics are you'll obviously need, if you're going to participate, a deck of cards. I have my Vikings cards here. They unfortunately did not make the playoffs this year, um, but if you're a Minnesota Vikings fan, you know the pain that comes every year. So no, nothing new over here, like nothing unexpected. Um, the duration is starting today, January 20th, and it'll run through December 20th. So it is an 11 month project pan, starting with five projects, projects, five products. It is a rolling style of project and the updates will be monthly on the 20th of each month. If you guys are interested in my previous year's project or any of the other projects I'm currently participating in, I obviously love project panning. Hello, I'm Steph and I do love to project pan. I'll leave all of my other project playlists down below as well as the playlist for this project, Emily's channel, all of the things, the game board, everything, check the description box. But the premise of this is we're gonna randomly select five cards. They correlate to prompts on a game board and then we choose products and goals to work on based off of the prompts from the cards. So that being said, I did shuffle these cards before turning my camera on, but I will shuffle them again. And there is a joker in the deck. The joker is for the prompt, are you joking? And if you pull the joker card, you have to work on a product that you really, 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 really don't wanna pan. And I had the fortune or misfortune, if you will, last year of pulling the joker twice. So fingers crossed, we're not doing that this year. I'm trying to think, I should pick the product. Okay, if I pull the joker, what product are we gonna try and pan? Hmm what are we going to choose last year i worked on some mac pigments as well as um like a blue eyeshadow shade from a pat mcgrath palette maybe if we pull the joker hmm maybe i'll choose like a i like honestly can't decide why this is so hard Maybe I'll choose like a colorful eyeshadow shade. We'll see, maybe it will like, we'll see. Maybe I won't even pull the joker, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, let's pull our five cards that we're starting with. I would have laughed if that was a joker right off the bat. Okay, so we have the king of hearts, the 10 of spades, the five of hearts, the seven of diamonds, and the three of clubs. Okay, sweet. No joker. We're good. We're good. Okay. I'm pulling the game board up and I'm pulling up the prompts. Um, okay. So if you pull a face card, uh, the prompts remain the same for the entire year. Otherwise for like the numbered cards, Emily shuffles the game board every single month. So the prompts change, um, and you can get the same prompt like multiple times throughout the course of this project. Again, I hope I'm making sense. So let's start with the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts, so red, it's a red card. I'll post the game board up here so you guys can follow along with me. The King with a red, the King of Hearts correlates to an oldest product in my collection, which I've just been starting to update. 
my like makeup inventory and my spreadsheets so this is good i'll go through and figure out what my oldest product is next up we have the 10 of spades which is spotlighting a panner Ooh, okay this will be good this will be good love that next up we have the five of hearts which is something a friend is panning oh my goodness gracious i'm gonna have to go look at some things before we pick our products the seven of diamonds is an a to z shade which is hold on let me figure out what that is a to z shade means randomize a letter randomize a letter and then choose a shade based on that letter i assume okay and then finally we have the three of clubs which is a cream product i literally just filmed my introduction for my partners in cream project pan so that's hilarious okay I'm gonna go pick my products. I feel like it's gonna take me a little bit and I will be back to share the products and goals with you guys. Okay, I was just picking all my products and realized I did not do a random letter for um, the shade generator. This probably isn't a shake sort of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna randomly generate a letter. Here we go. Oops, that was an M. Yeah, it was an M. Did you guys see that? And then it turned into a Z. So now I have to choose a shade that starts with an M. Okay, I will be right back. And then I have my other products picked. All right, you guys, I have all my products picked out. I'm a little bit nervous, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to go with what we have. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, okay, so up first we had the King of Hearts, which for that prompt I had to prompt i had to choose my oldest product within a category i decided to go with my l'oreal pro glow i believe i already selected this for a different um project for the category like last year i'm talking about not this year i'm not trying to double dip um i selected this for my oldest product so this is my oldest foundation currently in my collection when i shake it up i can tell i don't have that much left i would say I will obviously mark and weigh this, but I would say I'm maybe like right about here. So I maybe have like one fourth of this foundation left. I did really enjoy this foundation at one point in my life. However, it is not, I don't know. I could maybe see myself repurchasing it. Although there are so many foundations on the market, I'm trying to purchase less. It's not really going that well. So I don't necessarily know that I would repurchase this. It definitely wouldn't be something I would immediately go out and repurchase. And I honestly would like to get a foundation used up and out of my collection. I feel like I could do this pretty quickly it's also lighter i'm self tanned right now but this would be the perfect time of year for me to use this up i feel like it mixes well with other foundations as well so my goal is going to be to finish this up okay so then for the 10 of spades this was for the prompt spotlight a panner this is always so tough for me but i was watching kelly gucci's project pan as i was or project pan introduction for 2022 as i was getting ready today so i decided to go with a product that she just included in one of her projects. Kelly Gooch is someone who like really introduced me to project panning. Um, so she's someone I felt like would be a good person to spotlight. So she just recently added the Glossier Cloud paint in the shade Beam to her project pan. And I'm gonna do the same. This is something I was working on panning last year. Um, and I am right about here. So I have a little bit more than half of the product left. I don't feel like I want to use up the entire, I don't feel like I want to use up the entire thing. Like I feel like that would take me forever. I think maybe my goal is going to be to get the product or get my like what would be my marking to below the S and above the O if that makes any sense. So my goal will be to use up approximately this much of the product. Um, this is definitely more of like a spring summer shade for me Although I do feel like this shade can work all year round and this is also something that's really beautiful Even if you're not wearing foundation if you want to add just a little bit of color to your cheeks I've recently started going to the gym again and sometimes I like to add like a little bit of liquid blush or a little liquid highlight to My face before I go to the gym. So I feel like I could get some good use out of this I think it'll still take a few months to use it up or to reach my goal But that is gonna be my goal there. Then we have the five of hearts which is the prompt something a friend is panning. Like I said, I'm filming this introduction a little bit early. So I decided to go with a product that I saw Rebecca Morgan recently add into her 2022 project pan. And that is this lip gloss from Bite Beauty. This is a discontinued lip gloss. And actually I've gone through a full size of the French press flat white shade in the past. And I repurchased this because I loved this shade. It's a really beautiful 
cool toned nude lip gloss i loved using it um and i was really sad when i used this up this i have not used that many times so this is just about a full size lip gloss my goal is going to be to use this up it is going to take some time and because I sort of want to savor this lip gloss I feel like it's not going to be something that I try and just fly through in the first few months this could be a product that's in the majority of the year but this is an older lip gloss in my collection as well and I feel like it's already expired slash will be ex it's expired let's be honest but it still smells fine it's nothing that like makes me concerned to put on my lips so I would like to use this up rather than have to eventually throw it away if I don't use it up so that is my selection there then for the prompt, um, an A to Z shade, I obviously randomly generated the shade M. So I selected this Vesca highlighter, which I had included in the products or products that I wanted to try and pan in 2022. So this worked out really well. This is their highlighter and it's in the shade Moonlight. This is what it looks like. I have a decent, not really a decent dip, but like, I mean... A disruption right here. I was working on this, I think, in my whole collection project pan last year. Um, it is a really beautiful, softer, almost like yellow gold sort of shade. This mixes really well with other highlights I found. Like if I want to like neutralize something, um, I've just found that I really like the way that this mixes with some of my other highlights. So I find it, I find this product really easy to use. It's also a little bit more subtle, um, which I have definitely been preferring for highlights. So I'm excited to give myself just some like another reason to reach for this sometimes i struggle to reach for products that i'm not actively panning so i'm very excited to include this in this project my goal is going to be to hit pan on this um i do want to see how many pans i can hit throughout my collection this year so i thought that would be a fun goal for this one i again think it'll be a couple months before i'm able to accomplish that this also would be a really pretty inner corner highlight on the eyes but my goal is going to be to hit pan on this i think it'll take some time but i'm very excited to work on that and then the three of clubs, the final prompt for this introduction was a cream product. And I decided to go with a product that I was going to put in my Partners in Cream Project pan, but decided to go with other products. So now I'm going to torture myself and put it in this project. This is the Kaja Earhart lipstick, which I was working on in last year's Partners in Cream Project pan all year. It was in from the introduction to the finale and I did not finish it up. This is how much product we have left. It is a really beautiful shade, but it has a horrible wear time on the lips. It's comfortable, but it just does not last on the lips. It's a really beautiful mid-tone, kind of cooler toned pink. Um, and I don't have, I have barely any product left in this. I just need to finish this up so I can call it an empty. Um, I would be very excited to have a lipstick empty so swiftly in or so quickly so early on in the year um but again i thought i was going to finish this quickly last year and it took me forever so that's where we're where we are at with that but that is going to wrap it up for my deco panning project pan 2022 introduction i hope that you guys enjoyed and are excited let me know in the comments down below if you are participating in this project or if you're not are you actively working on panning any products i would love to hear from you other than that thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye